Hey, Bob the Spider Hunter here. Thanks for joining with me. You know, there's an old adage that says, good things come out of small packages, and that's sometimes true. In my case, this is a small little package, and it delivered even smaller little tiny spiderlings. Now, for some people, that's probably not a good thing. For me, that's exciting to be able to watch and enjoy the little spiderlings that hatch in the spring. So this particular video is dedicated to the little tiny spiders and spiderlings that make up our world. Hope you enjoy it. Have yourself a great day, and thanks for watching. Take care now. And right outside here on my deck, we have spiderlings. And from the looks of these little yellow guys with the black, this is a uh, Arrhenius. Of course, as I disturb their web, they scatter to the wind. But at this young age, they, sh they do return together. And these babies have that little black pattern on the back of their abdomens, little abdomens, that will eventually change into the chevron look of an adult as they uh, grow and mature. <laughs> Spring is in the air and spiderlings are hatching. That's a good sign. I like it anyway. Here's, there goes one ballooning away off my finger. Here's another one right here. Also ballooning away. And there's some babies on my hand. hard to film because they don't like to stay in one place more than a second more or less but at least you get an idea of how tiny they are So tiny. I still haven't quite figured out what egg sac they're coming out of. I may have to cut into a few to see if uh, we can help some of them exit if they're still alive in their egg sacs. This is the um, Argiope egg sac, the golden garden spider. 
I'm going to clip the end of this thing off and see if there's any live spiderlings in here or not. There we go. And let's see what we got inside here. It's lined full. Even my light, I can't see much in there. It's lined full of some nice insulated liners. I was wrong. This is the egg sack the little guys are coming out of. And uh, they're coming out now big time. So there they go. I better put a lid on them pretty quick too because they're, they're running around already. So these are the golden gardens. Now I'm really excited because I never had a golden garden egg hatch before in my carrying anyway. Now I know what the RGOP Golden Garden Spider little ones look like. And as time goes on, they'll develop those beautiful, that beautiful or, or yellowish color. Some are orange, most are yellow. Bodies with the black striping that almost looks to be like alien faces or heads. Anyway, um, wow, this is this is exciting for me to see. These little guys. I normally see them only when they're larger. Not now. Oh my gosh. This morning, Mama Black Widow's egg sack has hatched. I think I'm looking at 100 plus baby Black Widows this morning. Look at these cute little guys. mom on the right side of the screen. Let me just come in one more time through the top and give you a better close-up view of mom. Remember who's eating a fly. There she is. And her baby's all over the place in here. What I'm going to try to do here is get some of the babies out first and then maybe try mom. You can see how tiny these little guys are. Just itty bitty specks. Here's my wristwatch to give you an example of the size. And there's babies. I believe what I have here is a nursery web spider's egg nest that has hatched. There is a lot of, I'll point it out here, there's a lot of uh, uh, moltings here from their earlier instar growth where they have molted out of their old skins. And most of the spiders are on the underside. Let's see if you can see them here. Lots of babies. With their coloration, they blend in pretty well with the vegetation. But anyway, your babies are cute. Good job, Mom. People always like to ask me, what should I feed these little spiderlings if I have an egg sack and it hatches? Well, my, my best advice to you is to let them go in the wilds because they are so itty bitty tiny, you won't be able to find food to feed them. 
Um, you can't even buy things at the pet shop that's going to be small enough for these little guys. Now, they, they can survive at least a week to two on an internal egg sac that they carry within their, within their bodies uh, once they hatch out. So they have sustenance for at least a week to two weeks. After that, they'll be on their own to make little webs and, and catch whatever little itty bitty tiny things fly around. But uh, again, the only hope you would have is that once they get a little bit older, if you had some, uh, you could probably start them on some aphids, little tiny aphids that you might find on plants, uh, rose bushes, etc. So it's best to let nature take its course and uh, they'll be able to find little things to eat that you won't be able to find for them. That's my best suggestion for you, trying to raise little spiderlings this small. Well, hey, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day. Take care now. Bye. but they're really too tiny to care for on your own. So best bet, let them go. Let nature do their job at, uh, at raising the spiderlings to who, so that I'm, and I'm babbling on now and can't think of the next sentence I wanted to say. So we're just gonna uh, take two on that.